Hey, my name is Kendra. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to go over all of the books that I enjoy during Coe's Week. If you're new to my channel, be sure and check out my last few videos. I did vlog during the week of Coe's Week, so I have vlogs one through three waiting for you if you've not checked them out yet. I had a lot of fun sharing the week with you. And um, this channel's been around for a long time, I think maybe something like six years or so, but I've taken a bit of a break and I'm coming back and I'm dusting things off and repackaging and reworking it. And so if you look back at those vlogs, I think it'll give you a good feel for what to expect from me in the future. So I will link those up here in a card as well as down below in my description box. So you can go take a gander if you haven't seen them. Let's get on with the books. Up first, I wanted to talk about Daisies for Innocence by Bailey Cottrell. This is a really fun story. I enjoyed it. I did think it was a teeny bit slow, but I think it has really good bones for a good series. This is a three book series. I don't think the author is continuing on any farther, but in this book, we meet Ellie, who is our protagonist. She's recently divorced and lives in a teeny tiny town. And guess what? Her husband lives in the teeny tiny town with her. All the residents know all of their business. They didn't end on the best terms. They don't have like a friendship or anything like that. It's a little bit awkward for them. Um, and they are both trying to move on and start a new life. Ellie has moved into a tiny home, which I think is so fun and awesome. She has a cat and a little corgi named Dash. She also owns and runs a store called Sense and Nonsense. This is one of my favorite things about the book. I thought this was really cool and unique how they did this, but Ellie at her store, she has this like super magical superpower where she can see her customers and know what they need and she can concoct I think of it as like an essential oil blend, but in the book they call it botanical essence and send that customer on with this particular blend that will do magical things for them. Maybe they're in a slump and they need to uh, something to kind of bring them out of their slump and she comes up with something that makes them happy and positive or whatever. Or somebody is internally struggling with something but they don't really know what it is, she can concoct something that will maybe bring them back to a memory that helps them kind of get on their path. It's a little bit hard to talk about, but just trust me, it's really interesting and I enjoyed that aspect of this book. But like I said, it's a little slow. I will continue on with the series because I, ha I just have a hunch that the second book's gonna be better. So I'm giving this one a 3.5 star rating. The next book that I finished during the readathon was And Then There Were Crumbs. This is the first book in a new series. I listened to it on audio, and if you happen to have the Audible Escapes package via Audible, they offer this one for free. And I did really enjoy listening to this one on audio. But I will say, at the beginning of this one, I wasn't all that much in love with it. And then all of a sudden, all the stars aligned and I fell hook, line, and sinker for this book. There's a lot of things that happened during this read that I haven't come across yet in a cozy mystery and I was there for it. So in this book, we get to meet Kate. Kate has recently broke things off from her fiance. She's lost her job. She's moved to this new town and she's just looking for a fresh start. She is a baker and she's hoping to find a bakery where she can bake her delicious cookies. She comes across this older gentleman who is a bit of a criminal. I would say and he is well known for his sourdough so he agrees to let her come on and help him in this bakery of his where people come far and wide to enjoy his awesome sourdough bread and then our story kicks off we get to follow along as Kate meets buddies in the town as she comes across Oliver who is her cozy companion her relationship with Oliver is so wonderful. Oliver stole the show for me with this read. And if you've read this or you do read it after hearing this, please come back and let's chat about Oliver. I just think the whole take on, I don't want to take the joy away from this part of the book from you, so I'm not going to go into too much of a detail on this, but once you read it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I just love how the author told Oliver's story. This was a great read. I gave it five stars and I'm continuing on with the series. I don't give out five star ratings very often. I give almost all of the Bake Shop Mystery series by Ellie Alexander five stars. I love that series. It's one of my favorites, but I have since ordered a hard copy of the first book because I wanted to have it in my library because I loved it so much. And I have picked up the second book, uh, which is called Sugar and Vice. And I can't wait to start on this one. The next book is Apple Cider Slaying by Julie Ann Lindsay. I loved this book. 
I loved Julian Lindsay's writing style, the characters she created. I loved the setting. So in this book, we get to meet Winnie. Winnie lives alongside her grandma on their family's apple orchard, and they're doing great. They love it. The only problem is they have a hard time bringing in funds when it's out of the prime apple picking season. But Winnie believes if she opens up a gourmet apple cider shop slash cafe that they can make money year round by renting out the barn for weddings and gatherings and serving up their, their good food and their apple cider. So we get to go alongside Granny and Winnie as they try so hard to get a loan so that they can make this apple cider cafe a reality. And I loved every second of it. I gave this book five stars. I really enjoyed it and I will be going on to the second one which I've already purchased. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Pulp Fiction. This is another one I'm really excited to dig into. The last book that I finished during the readathon it's one of those books that I call a heart hugging book, you know, a heart hugging book. You just love the storyline and the characters so much. It's so hard to put it down whenever you close the pages. And so you just, ah, uh, you just need to sit with it for a second and love on it and look back through it before you can just set it down and walk away. And that is the Bake Shop Mystery Series for me through and through. And this is the fourth book in the series written by Ellie Alexander, Cop Bread Handed. I feel like anytime I talk about this series, my face just, ee, it just lights up. I, I can feel it from inside. I love following alongside Jules and her mom and her coffee shop and all of her baked goods and Carlos and the town and all the characters. Ellie just has this magical way of setting a place in a book. She has a magical way of talking about food, um, of developing her characters and this is just my favorite cozy mystery series. I just don't know how it can be topped. I just don't think it can. So in this book, we continue to follow along with Jules and her mom and the gang. And of course, murder finds them, dun, 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 and sends the town into upheaval. There is a new store, store owner that moves into the town of Ashland and threatens to go against what the town is known for and the townspeople are not so happy about it. And then our story kicks off. We're so far into the series at this point, it's hard to talk about this one too much, but just trust me, it's a really good one. I gave it five stars. I forgot there was one other book. I didn't finish it, but it was part of the readathon. And Courtney recommended that we try a sci-fi cozy mystery during her readathon, and I did. Well, I tried it, but I ended up DNFing it. I think it was called Space Murder. I'll put it up here on the screen somewhere. It was okay. Uh, in a, in a way that like you kind of are thinking it's cool, but you kind of want to DNF it. So I did. I was enjoying these other reads too much, so I just dropped it like it's hot, dropped it like it's hot, and I didn't think twice. So maybe it was would have been good if I stuck with it. I don't know. We will we'll never know because I'll probably never go back to it. <sighs> we did it. We made it to the end. I feel good. Do you feel good? I feel good. I'm a little sweaty. Um, that was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be, but we did it. <laughs> Y'all, oh my goodness. Okay, it's kind of hard to talk about books, and it's kind of hard to talk about cozy mysteries because you don't want to give too much away, and yeah. So if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe and hang out. My next video, I'll kind of be reintroducing myself, letting you know what you can expect from me in the future. I've been around for a long time, but I'm changing things up a little bit after taking a break. So hang out for that. Also, I've been shopping a ton on eBay for books, a lot of cozy mysteries. So I'll have a book haul and a cozy mystery haul coming up. So I hope that you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. I'm also from the South, if you didn't know that. I hope you hit that subscribe button and hang out with me, okay? See you later, y'all.